Lou Antonucci is coming up. And he's a story song kind of guy, Her kind of Harry Chapin-esque, is that fair to say? Sure. <laughs> you know, um, he mentioned, uh, Mark mentioned Harry Chapin. I, I'm a big Harry Chapin fan and uh, currently working on a, on a Harry Chapin project. And in, and in my research, I uh, ran across a very interesting, a obscure uh, interview that Harry had done. And about halfway through the interview, uh, the interviewer asked Harry, what's the greatest song ever written? And I think maybe he was doing it to bait Harry, you know, to, to give up one of his songs, to say it was one of his songs. But he had a real elegant uh, response. He said, you know, the greatest song is probably being written right now by some unknown artist in some unknown town playing a dusty old piano. Well, I heard that and I said, you know what? There's a, there's a song in there. So uh, I wrote this song for Harry, uh, about Harry, and I wrote it for all my, uh, my songwriting friends out on the road. And it's appropriately called The Greatest Song Ever Written. stage at the end of the night another sold out show when it finished his set and walked off stage and as we all know his stories and his music always left them wanting more as he stepped into his dressing room I followed him through the door. I asked if I could join him for an overdue interview. He said, come on, sit down and grab a chair. Nothing much else to do. Well, we must have talked for hours. Every topic on the list. And when the clock turned well past 3 a.m., I dared to ask him this. Through the musical miles you've traveled, the many words and chords, what's the greatest song ever written? I'm sure it's one of yours. Well, he laughed as if I told joke then look me right in the eye he paused for just a moment and said I cannot lie you see the greatest song it's being written possibly right now by some unknown artist some unknown town playing a dusty old piano or a broken down guitar it just might make him famous and he might not get that far then he stood and headed out the door no bravado just a smile on to another town, another show, another couple hundred miles, where his music and his stories would keep him coming back for more. I grabbed my bag, I hit the lights, and followed him out the door. the years I hung on his every word but cruel fate would rear its ugly head and I lost my troubadour but the magic of his song can 
never be undone And I can't forget what he said to me Backstage when I was young You know the greatest song it's being written Possibly right now By some unknown artist some unknown town playing his dusty old piano or a broken down guitar that just might make him famous might not get that far yes there's a hundred thousand voices in venues like this out on the road playing some unknown verses to a tune you do not know you see the greatest song it's being written possibly right now by some unknown artist some unknown town. Thank you. Jump up and grab a guitar pick here. Uh, you know, I was born outside of Pencil, uh, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and uh, way back in the early 80s, Pittsburgh was going through a both a cultural and a physical renaissance. And uh, in, in doing that, what they were looking to do was, from the physical side, was to keep a lot of corporate uh, entities, corporations, to keep their uh, corporate headquarters in Pittsburgh. And to do that, they offered up some prime real estate right in the middle of the city to one of the large corporations. And what it did was it actually took away uh, a lot of the area that was known as Market Square in Pittsburgh. Now Market Square, to give you an idea, not unlike Fano Hall in Boston, a lot of history, cobblestone streets, family-owned shops, so on. So this song is about uh, one of the shop owners on Market Square who uh, unsuccessfully fought to save his family business. This one's called The Merchant on Market Square. Square. 
there trying to save my piece of the pie. Is it really right or even fair for my livelihood to be denied for the renaissance of glass and steel? The city's on this side. I moved uptown near the market square, a life savings down. City says, tear it down, give it all to PPG. Too much, it's all too much for a broken man like me. Well, my bank account lies empty, and there's a loophole in my lease. We give it 30 days, not a minute more Here on Market Square, I close my doors It makes no sense, if I wanna eat Gotta go to work for PPG Lord, I'm a merchant Here late on Market Square Tried to save my piece of the pie Is it really right or even fair For my livelihood to be denied For the renaissance of and steal the cities on this side. The tearing down my life. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. All right, okay. Thank you. Uh, it's a song I wrote. You know, sometimes people think that as a songwriter, you have to get really intricate with words and melodies and, and all kind of things to, to get your message across. But sometimes uh, the most simple uh, piece of it is just really what you want to say. Uh, this is one of my songs called uh, Just One Minute. If I could hold you for just one minute Just one hour Just one day I could be happy for just one minute, just one hour, just one day. I'd be sitting on top of the world tonight, living out one hell of a dream. I'd be sitting on top of the world tonight And I just want to hold you I don't want to let you go If I could tell you all I could tell you so much to tell you, so much to say But the words don't come easy, it's never been easy It's hard when yesterdays get in the way Emboldened by my dreams Then I find myself imprisoned by The underlying need To be under the covers 
lover to lover Holding each other close So if I could hold you For more than a minute More than an hour More than a day Then we could be happy For more than a minute More than an hour More than a day Be sitting on top of the world tonight, and we'd be living out one hell of a dream. We'd be sitting on top of the world tonight, and I just want to hold you, I don't want to let you go. just want to hold you I don't want to let you go I just want to hold you I don't want to let you go Thank you. Thank you so much.